Oh man, and welcome to this video, guys. In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how to unlock Volpara after the pre-patch. It has changed. I do have a previous video made on how to unlock it prior to the pre-patch, but the problem is they did change a lot. So we're actually going to go over the quest on it you need to do and all of the quests that you will actually have to do in Vuldoon and the achievements. So stay tuned. But before we do get there, guys, we do stream over on Twitch three times a week. So if you'd be interested in something like that, check the links down below all the quests will be also linked down below but let's just jump into it all right guys so the next part of unlocking volpara is you will have to go out to voldoon and complete the quest line aka the secrets in the sand it will require you to do all of these quests right here but after you complete these there is a slight rep requirement in between these quest lines but you should be able to get enough of it in between while doing the quests to not have to go back and deal with you know any sort of rep grind everybody that i know that has done it since the pre-patch hasn't had a problem so i think that is the uh the sure method but don't think that soon as soon as you're just done you know storming the spire that you're done soon as you're out here you to double check you can always see how many chapters you have done right here if you have seven of seven chapters you're ready to go to orgamar so i'll meet you in orgamar guys to show you exactly where you need to go and then there's a quest line that will go over exactly everything you have to do i already have them done but i'll go through a little quest log for you all right guys so after getting the secrets in the sand completed you're gonna have to come to orgamar so press m on your map when you're in orgamar and you're gonna have to go to the orgamar embassy and talk to G Firepaw. So you're gonna fly on over there. If you don't have flying, just ride in over there. But I highly recommend getting flying. It really, really helps. You're gonna pick up a quest from him that starts with guests at Gromish Hold. It's gonna send you back over to the war chief over here. I've already completed these quests, so I can't show you exactly the way the quest line goes without, you know, I don't have the exact film of that. But you're gonna fly over to here and you're gonna start the quest line that will send you on your way to uh, Twilight Highlands and you'll do a bunch of other quests. We're gonna go over that. I'll meet you in Twilight Highlands. All right, guys, once you're out in Twilight Highlands, you're gonna start a quest line. It's gonna start with a declaration of intent. Then it's gonna go into new allies, new problems, no problem, too small. Where are the workers? A little goodwill worthwhile repairs peon promotions a party in your honor strength and honor jobs done on the outskirts explosions always work will use their weapons destroying the source taking out the tide caller threat contained meet the mara the Ventner's assistance, playing to their strengths, a particular process, fermented for the horde, sip and savor, awaiting our arrival, and finally, new alleys among us. Once you get to that point, guys, all you're going to have to do is go back to Orgamar, unlock your Volpara, talk to the War Chief and you're on your way. All you're gonna have to do is go back, go create your Volpara, and you're there. Seriously guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it, keep it really super short, but um, if you really liked the video, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting that like button, and let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I really hope this helped out, guys. But until next time. Oh my.